Hello there. My name is Rudy. I'm with Aquatic Facility Training and Consultants, and today we're going to do an experiment regarding water chemistry. Specifically, we're going to look at the effect of carbon dioxide on pH. pH is the measurement of the water's demand for acid. The scale itself runs from 0 to 14. Usually when we're dealing with a swimming pool, we only deal with a very, very small portion of that scale. Our acceptable range is 7.2 to 7.8 with an ideal range of 7.4 to 7.6. Now a lot of large commercial swimming pool facilities actually use carbon dioxide for pH control and we're going to show you why. When carbon dioxide first hits the water, it immediately forms carbonic acid. It's the carbonic acid that actually does lower the pH. So I filled out my soda stream container. This is also going to show you why soda is not really the best thing in the world for your teeth. I'm going to take my test block and I'm going to rinse it out because I don't want anything left over from the last few tests that I've conducted. I just want to test what's actually going on in the pool right now. Then I'm going to fill the vial, the larger vial in my test block, up to the 44 milliliter mark. I'm going to keep conscious of the fact that there's a phenomenon known as a meniscus, which is the natural curvature of water when you put it into a container due to surface tension. I want the bottom of the meniscus to be right at that line for the, on the test file for the 44 milliliter mark. Now I'm going to take my test reagent. To test for pH, the chemical we use is called phenol red. It's easy to remember because phenol red actually starts with pH. Phenol red is capable of testing a pH somewhere between 6.4 and 8. I'm going to take my reagent and I'm going to add one drop at a time to my test block. I'm going to hold the bottle straight up and down, releasing in between each drop because I want to ensure that I get a consistent drop size. And I'm going to do this for a total of five drops. And then I'm going to put the cap on and I'm going to shake it up a little bit. I can see there right now I have a pH of about 7.3 which is in the acceptable range. So let me show you where that's at. Give it a second to come into focus. So you can see that the color matches with those on the test block right about the 7.3, somewhere in between 7.2 and 7.4 which is in the acceptable range. Normally I'd like to see it a little bit higher but that's good enough for the experiment that we're going to do. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same sample of water and I'm going to carbonate it. This will show us the effects of carbon dioxide on water. So attach it to my soda stream. They say that it's supposed to be three pumps to equal the carbonation in soda. So let's go with that. One. two, oops, and then three. So that should equal right now the amount of carbonation that's in a normal glass of soda. So open this up and you can see the bubbles in there from the carbon dioxide. The next thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to test the water that we just added carbon dioxide to. So I'm going to take the cap off of the vial, dump it out. Again, I'm going to rinse it out because I don't want anything left <clears throat> from the previous test we just ran. You can already even see the color change a little bit in my dump glass here. Again, I'm going to fill the vial to the 44 milliliter mark. Again, keeping in mind that there is a meniscus and I want the bottom of that meniscus to be at that line. I'm going to take my phenol red test solution. and Again, I'm going to add five drops, one drop at a time releasing in between each drop, holding the bottles perfectly straight up and down. Five. I'm going to put the cap on and shake it. It does tend to fizz a little. And now we can see that our pH is well below 6.9. So again, by carbonating the water, by adding carbon dioxide, the carbon dioxide immediately forms carbonic acid which is used to lower pH in a lot of large commercial swimming pool facilities. And again, it also gives you an idea of why regular soda is so acidic.